welcome back to yet another video. We are yet again, as you can tell, in the Moto Mondo warehouse in the Netherlands. Uh, they also have MASH, MASH, Royal Enfield, Hyosung, Riachu, Moto Marini, and of course Royal Enfield. And in today's video, we're gonna be unboxing the brand spanking new Royal Enfield Himalayan. Wow. Hmm. So which color are we going to take? Yeah. We get an interceptor over here, we get a shotgun 650 in this one, a meteor 350 over there. Look at that, the Himalayan 450. We have it in Casa Brown and also in the black and yellow version. Hanle Black is that one. Now we are of course going to be unboxing the new Royal Enfield 452 over there and we have the old 411s over here. Yeah, good time to uh, make a little comparison about the two. Anyway, we have a lot of work to do so uh, let's get cracking. Oh yeah, so I think we got one box over there, one box in the back over there and yeah, 40 horsepower and 32 Nm of torque. Ooh, look at that, the new 21 inch front wheel. So uh, in this crate we have the Hanley black version, this is uh, black with, uh, with golden details. And it also comes in Kamet white, slate Himalayan salt, Casa brown and slate poppy blue. Box number uno. <laughs> Watch your fingers now. Watch your fingers, Guido. Alright, box number two. This one is like very light. Not sure what that is. And this one's kind of. Uh, that's a heavy one. I gotta unbox that in a second as well. ever hiring they should hire me did you see that speed did you see that speed Guido did you see that speed yes. oh the bolts are still in okay. <laughs> maybe not Formula 1 <laughs> maybe just uh, Motor GP or something there you go. be careful don't don't cut the seat Christmas. Ooh. Bean bags. Now, fun fact on the uh, previous model. They use like cardboard, not really sure if you guys remember this. They use like cardboard to protect the speedometer. Look at that, now it's, it's kind of rubbery stuff. Also, uh, really sorry for the previous video, the previous unboxing of the previous Royal Enfield. I unboxed the previous Royal Enfield while the new one was just released. So everybody thought in the box would be a new one, but it was not. I'm sorry for that. This one's better though. Also, look at that little joystick. Look at this thing, look at that. The little joystick for the dash over here. This feels very premium though. Nice. Oh yeah, look at that. That is shiny like a baby's behindy. Now uh, I do have to say from the bolts and the nuts and the whole frame, everything looks more rigid. 
It's like they totally up their game. And also I've been told that this motorcycle, every single thing on this bike is brand new. So nothing is taken from the old one. So the uh, upgraded system, we get the uh, water pump over here. The previous one was uh, air cooled. This is of course water cooled. Two valves have become four valves. Did I show you the uh, liquid? The liquid pump over here already. We always gotta look a little bit for the keys. They always put the keys on the side over here. Nice. Check out the new key. Yeah, you gotta be a little bit careful with this system. This always hurts my nails when I have to do it. Ah, there we go. The new keys. Nice. We have the dual front fender yet again. We have one over here and one over here. Yeah, gotta make sure you don't get dirty. That is so satisfying. All right. Before we unbox those little boxes, yeah, double stand is as standard. Very easy to put it on. Before I unbox the small boxes, we're gonna run over some quick facts and what is new on this motorcycle. Now, uh, Guido just came off with a spec sheet, and if you take the Kemet white, you can see some uh, camouflage on top. That actually represents the Himalayan mountains. So if you take off the camouflage and you put it onto a flat ground, you should see the Himalayans from the top. That is nice. So a couple of quick specs, of course, the previous one was 411 cc's. This one is 451 cc's, 40 horsepower on this one and 24 horsepower on the previous version. So we almost got double the amount of horses by using a bigger bore and a water-cooled engine. Now we are gonna be having a look at the brand spanking new dash in a couple of seconds, but the previous model did not have any riding modes. Now this one has eco mode and performance mode. So yeah, it's got two Riding modes, we will be checking out. Also, the previous one had a 5-speed, and this is a 6-speed. Top speed of the previous one was about 125-ish kilometers an hour, and this should do over 150 kilometers an hour. You guys be safe doing 150 kilometers an hour in India. That traffic is kind of gnarly. And also, probably one of the more important parts they have changed, they changed the spark plugs from Bosch spark plugs to Champion spark plugs. Now they also have dual changeable uh, ABS, so you always have the ABS on the front, but you can turn off the rear. The older one also had that, so if you're gonna do some off-roading, you can turn this off. Now for the front brakes, they're still by Bibre. Bibre. And a lot of people are wondering like, Smokey, what the hell does Bibre mean? Well, it actually means by Brembo. Yeah, it's a part of the Brembo industry. Yeah, I didn't... Didn't expect that being on a Royal Enfield, did you? Anyway, they went from 300 millimeters in the front to 320 millimeters. And also, we have double pistons now. Not one, but two. And with all that extra horsepower, of course, they also went from 240 to 270 millimeters in the rear for better braking. And for the frame, they went from a half a duplex split cradle to a steel trellis frame. I have no idea what that means, but I think it's better. A gas tank, they went from 15 liters to 17 liters. Ugh. The ground clearance went from 200 to 230. So we got 30 millimeters of more ground clearance for jumping those logs. And for the bottom plate, it is a dual bottom plate. Not really sure if it's that's better or not, but we have a plastic one over here and we have the iron one to protect the exhaust. So we have, so we have two bottom plates for the price of one. Yeah. And the curb weight of the new m is eight kilograms less as the previous one which is 191 kilograms. So if we add all the stuff, 
we're looking at about 198 kilograms. Now, with the previous Royal Enfield, the ceiling height is not a lot. So even if this bike is like 198 kilograms, it feels very light because I can touch the floor fairly well. Seating height is 825 millimeters to 845. We can adjust the seat now. Oh yeah, I'm one meter 76 centimeters and I have an 80 centimeter in seat. For those people who want to get really personal with me, you know. But I can touch the ground pretty well. That thing is pretty sideways though. <laughs> Feels like my old Honda Camino. Let's see how we can adjust the seat. Oh, look at that. They put the bar in here. You can, you can yank this out. It's with rubbers. You can do it like that. That is insane. Down, down here. Oh, that is some nice engineering. Look at this. That is cool. So now I do it like... Oh, you can adjust the seat in like four different settings. Holy cow, these guys are really going for it. Let's put it like, like that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this is a lot. This is a lot higher now. Jesus. Oh yeah, now it's more, now it's a lot higher on the ground. 845. Yeah. Like that. One more time. Oh yeah, almost flat feet. Time to open the boxes. What do we have here? This feels very light. So it might be the windscreen. Oh yeah, it's, it's a little bit tinted. It's like 10, 15% tinted. Look at that, pretty cool. And uh, you, always gotta, you always gotta see how good the bubble, the bubble wrap is. The Indian bubble wrap versus the Italian bubble wrap. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, listen to that, you know, listen to that. That is a well-made bubble wrap. Satisfying feels. Ooh. <laughs> this is heavy one, so uh, probably contains the battery. What do we have over here? First up, what in the world is that? Pre-packing sticker. We got an MRP sticker, it says. Genuine parts, MRP sticker. I have no idea. Keto, what is inside? I have no idea. Me neither, you have no idea. Uh, we have RH, probably a mirror. We have LH, the other mirror. And we have the battery. Yeah, let's, uh, let's get installing. What the hell is that? That's like a reflector and a bracket. <laughs> I love being a mechanic. You love being a mechanic, Guido? More than a camera, man. <laughs> <laughs> Fits like a glove. Lights like a bullet. <laughs> also, we're gonna check out the dash in a second. Now we're gonna put in the battery so we can start it up for the first time ever. So on this side, for the mirror, they put like a little sticker underneath it, over the hole. And on this side, they have like a rubber in it. So we have like a sticker on the right side and a rubber on the left side. Left hand thread or right hand thread, Guido? Uh, I think left handed. You think left handed? Guido is a professional. He is just a professional. So uh, also mandatory in Europe is to have a reflector on the back of your motorcycle. Yeah, don't ask me why, but I mean, safety first, right? So it looks something like this. It's gotta be like that. So here is the reflector. Oh, uh, it's time to put in the battery, yeah. The keyhole is down here with the new keys, like that. Switch it up. There we go. Whoop. Whoop. Under the seat, under the seat we got a couple of relays. Relay order, every relay, pump relay, fan relay, 
misc relay. Got to switch over here. Yeah, easy peasy. Also a very nice detail, Royal Enfield embroidered into the seat, look at that, nice. Now without any further ado, it's a new display. Yeah you see me a little bit more of the display but let's turn it on. I lost the key again, reminder if you also lose the key, I know exactly where it is. Right there. Look at that digital thing. So when we go into the new display, the first thing we have is trip one. We go down with the little funny joystick. Trip two, fuel range, fuel consumption, voltage, service due, engine temperature. These are the first settings in the main screen. If you press the M button on the side handlebar, you can change modes, performance ABS on, performance ABS off in the rear, eco ABS on and eco ABS off. In the rear. Now when we go into the settings menu we have appearance, trip preference, my vehicle, system information and of course your favorites and the cool thing is appearance we can actually set it to screen type analog. Look at that. If we set it to analog we have the old screen again. Now that is cool. When you go into into the my vehicle settings you can set of course what you want to see at the first screen system we can change the clock speed distance fuel consumption temperature language and we can do a factory reset and of course we have some uh, information from very versions and whatnot digital or analog we got a fancy little kill switch over here gas tank over here lights over here very premium feeling buttons those are indicators And how does the horn sound? And also in the back, a very important one for indicators. So uh, yeah, let's uh, fill it up and uh, start up for the first time. I've been told it is a myth that you can set fuel on fire with a cigarette. I've been told that it's not true. Let me know in the comments, what do you guys think? Can you? Make fire with a cigarette and gasoline or not? Let me know in the comments. But while we are filling it up with gasoline, look at that giant 21 inch wheel. That thing is freaking huge. Look at that. I just found out they built on a little USB stick over here. Look at that. All right. Uh, we're missing a starter button over here. Yeah. Oh, there's a... That's just air in the fuel lines. Don't you worry. That drive-by wire, yeah, lets you do burnouts pretty easily. Now, first feelings about this motorcycle. It has a lot more power. It feels very, very well made and also very light. But the full riding review will be at 10 and 12 of April because I'm going with Royal Enfield to Sardinia or Sicilia. I kind of forgot. It's like in Italy, it's like an island. We'll see. Yet again, this motorcycle is way more worth now because I, of course, put it together with my buddy Guido. Thank you Guido so much and also big thanks to Modo Mondo for letting me in a warehouse 
write the new uh, Himalayan and take it out of the box. And thank you guys for liking, subscribing. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace, drive safe. See ya. If you want to see the next video, it is right over there. If you want to see my favorite video, it is right over there. Subscribing is done right over here. And if you want to know all about YouTube, go to smokeytube.com. See you guys in the next one. Click one of these.